Sky Mobile sponsors the transfer window on Sky Sports News. Carvey, what's the latest on a proposed move for Mohamed Salah? Do you know what? First of all, uh, just let's start off by saying I can understand why Liverpool fans get frustrated about the fact that uh, people are talking about Mo Salah potentially leaving the club uh, because they're well within their rights to say he's a Liverpool player, he signed a contract last summer and there's been no bid, no offer has been received for Mo Salah. So those are the facts. That is absolutely right. But what we also know is that the Saudi Pro League want to sign Mo Salah. Now, it may not be this week, it may not be this summer, it might be next summer or the following summer, but the dream for the Saudi Pro League is to have Mo Salah playing in that league because they believe he is the most famous Arab footballer in the world and it would be a massive coup for the Saudis to have him. Now, the situation is that his name has been on a list of names that the Saudi Pro League have complied uh, complied, uh, compiled of players they want to sign this summer. Now, there have been other big names on it, for instance, like Benzema, Neymar, who they've managed to get. But so far, they haven't been uh, able to get Mo Salah. But they want to sign him. His name is on that list. And if they can get him, they would like him to play for Al Etihad, the champions. Uh, and I think there's still a possibility that in the next few days, before the Saudi window closes on the 7th next week, that they may make a move to sign him. But this is not going to be a conventional transfer that we're used to. These Saudi transfers are different. It's not a case of negotiations between clubs and talks and them contacting uh, Liverpool. This is a centrally controlled operation by the Saudi Pro League, by the Saudi Ministry of Sport, uh, by the Saudi Sovereign Wealth Fund and, of course, Al Etihad. How serious are the Saudis? And can you really see this man leaving Liverpool in this window? Again, let's be fair to Liverpool supporters. He's never come out and said, I want to move uh, to Saudi Arabia. I want to leave Liverpool. Uh, the only public statement we've had is from his agent, uh, who a couple of weeks ago said, Mo signed a new contract at Liverpool last summer. He wouldn't have signed that contract if he wanted to leave. But can I see him playing in Saudi Arabia? Yes, I can, one day. I'm not saying it's going to be this window. I'm not saying it's going to be in January or even next year. But the Saudis are very, very serious about signing Mo Salah. And they have almost unlimited funds uh, to be able to pay him. I think he would be one of the best paid players in the world, uh, probably earning at least £1.5 million a week. And they're prepared to pay more than £100 million to sign him, which is a lot of money for someone who's 31 years old. Put that into perspective, I think they spent about £80, £90 million pounds on Neymar, uh, who's 31 as well. I think they're willing to pay more to get Salah. And what is Liverpool's stance on this? If a bid comes in for, say, £100 million, pounds, would that be too good for them to refuse? I mean, that's a good question, uh, but it is hypothetical. Liverpool's stance is the player's not for sale. He signed a new contract last summer. We haven't had a bid. We haven't had an offer. Yes, we're aware of what everyone is reporting, but as far as we're concerned, he's a Liverpool player and he's never said he wants to leave and no one's put in an offer. But the point I would make is that the way the Saudis would go about this would not be a conventional transfer. They wouldn't necessarily make an offer for him. What they will be doing behind the scenes, the chairman of the Saudi Pro League is in Europe a lot. Michael Emanalo, the director of football of the Saudi Pro League, controls all this to a big extent. They will be trying to work out a package whereby they can get Mo Salah and sign him to Al Etihad. Now, that package has to be right for the player, his representatives, and at the end of the day, of course, it has to be right for Liverpool. But we haven't got to that stage yet. Carve, thank you for now. So, what do you guys think about that? How big a blow would it be for Liverpool to lose Mo Salah, whether it's in this window or before the end of the Saudi Pro League window? Well, it'd be, you know, it's almost incomprehensible uh, for Liverpool right now, almost unfathomable during his time at Liverpool. I mean, he's now surpassed Steven Gerrard in that all-time top goal scorer list, even last year, supposed a down year for Mo Salah, who's over 30 league goals and assists. And as they continue to move beyond the Salah, Firmino, Mane era into this new era of Liverpool forwards, with the likes of Luis Diaz, Gakpo, Nunes, Jota, they definitely need Mo Salah at the club. So even if a bit of £120 million came in for Liverpool, 
I just would flat out refuse it. It's too late. Yeah, do, do you agree with that as well? And actually, when the yeah. window ends here, you almost need Mo Salah or his representatives to come out and, and say something to reassure the, the fans. Yeah, I mean, I guess at least in a couple of days, they'll probably be reassured that he'll be staying. I personally can't see it happening. I think, yeah, I don't think it can happen from a Liverpool perspective. I agree with Doogie. Money, is, in some ways, is no object, at least when it's around the 100 million mark, because that's about the kind of money that you get for qualifying for the Champions League. So, um, that, and Mo Salah is worth that. I think if Mo Salah were to leave Liverpool this summer, then that puts their... Uh, qualification hopes in serious doubt. So, yeah, I, I don't think there's any question that Mo Salah has to be kept at Liverpool.